All right, thank you, Tyler. Here on the Northrop Grumps Foundation Field, we have two teams that fought gear, tooth, and nail to make it here. Both of these teams pushed their respective divisions to three matches. That's right, three matches. So you know they want to be here. Representing our number four division, that is opportunity. We have 51, 58, 1 S. That's system overload from the Dales, Oregon. Their alliance partners are 16099B. That's overclock out of Flushing, New York. Representing the fifth seated division, that is arts. We have 38141B. They went undefeated in quals. It's Pybotics out of Erlinger, Kentucky. Their alliance partners are 254F, the Cheesy Poops out of San Jose, California. All right, let's go ahead and get things going here on the Northrop Grumman Foundation field. Help me count it down in three, two, one. Go! And we are off to the races. Looks like the Blue Alliance has managed to snag two of the neutral mobile goals during the autonomous period. Three seconds left. That's going to go to the Blue Alliance. Moving on to driver control in three, two, one, go. All right. Our teams are in a mad dash to get as many points as they can. On the Red Alliance, we have 51. 581 as that system overload in control of one of the neutral mobile goals and one red mobile goal. They are stacking ring after ring into that red mobile goal, manually loading it into their loader. They have a strategy. They are willing to take the time to get those rings in. Over on the blue alliance, we have 254F. That's the cheesy poofs. Ready to line up, ready to push down that blue platform. They are just waiting down on that time. Their alliance partners, Pybotics, looking for more rings. Hungry like a hungry, hungry hippo. They are grabbing ring after ring. Their blue mobile goal is already filled to the top. And we have 50 seconds left in this match. Ladies and gentlemen, there are not many rings left on the floor. We might run out before the time expires. 40 seconds left. Blue Alliance sitting with both of the neutral mobile goals as 254F from the Blue Alliance. That's the Cheesy Poos begins its ascent up the blue platform. Can they get it stable with the help of their alliance partner, Pybotics? Yes, they can. Over on the red alliance, we have both of our red robots climbing up onto the platform, trying to get it stable, trying to get it balanced. At the 15 second mark, they still haven't done it, but they get it done just in time. Red Alliance sitting with three mobile goals. Blue Alliance doing a little victory dance, maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. Wow. You know, that was just insane. Grant, give me some analysis. <laughs> For analysis, who better to turn to than the, uh, my friend Paige to join, who was on the anchor desk back in, uh, back in a couple of years ago. Paige, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How about you? <laughs> I mean, with matches like these, I can't help but do great. So Paige, um, what was your role here at Vex Worlds this year? Yeah, so this year I was actually a judge advisor for the Opportunity uh, Division. Excellent, excellent. So you were, as a judge advisor, you know, you're looking over notebooks, you know, talking to judges, learning about teams. What was the most, one of the most inspiring things you saw, if you could think of one, without saying a team number? <laughs> well, the problem is, is that there's so many great teams here, and I hate to say that, but it is true. All of these teams really are the best of the best. So any of those teams who did win those awards, man, it was such a battle with the judges to actually figure out who won those awards, because it was just such a close race. Most definitely. So speaking of, you know, best of the best, I mean, this match had a double park with three mobile goals with a bunch of rings. Right right as that match was closing, you were, you were 
yelling in my ear, like, oh, they're going to drop that goal, they're going to drop that goal. I mean, what were you seeing as they were going for that, that moment? Well, honestly, the double park is the only way to beat the double neutral mobile goal uh, strategy. So Red Alliance was definitely doing the right thing. But I have seen so many times, especially like in that last match, where the red mobile goal just falls off at the end. So I was keeping my fingers crossed that they were able to pull it off, and it looks like they did. It looks so. to me like they did, but yeah. it was definitely risky. You know, we saw earlier some really clean precision parking. This one on both sides, a little more precarious. Uh, you know, so, but you know, these teams are, you know, practicing and, and, and endlessly to try and nail this. And speaking of it, I think we're ready with those scores. Tor Tyler, what do you got? That's right, Grant. Its score is going to be 225 to 252 for the Blue Alliance. The Arts Division advances. All right, George, who do we have playing next at the NASA?